Welcome to the Automaticist. All right, so this is going to be just a quick video on the excellent program Mac Tracker. So this is for anyone that's into vintage Macs like I am, or anyone who does like troubleshooting. And basically, what it is is it's a thing that's basically showing you like every single Apple product ever, going all the way back to the Apple One. So. You know, like here's here's the Apple One. We can see the specifications, and it's you know that sort of thing. You know, we can look at the iMac. We can look, you know, and it has every single year listed as a different entry. So we can you know pull up. I'm pretty sure that's the one that I have. That's what the startup sound sounded like, which is basically still the startup sound that we have. If we want to open up something older, that's the sort of sound that had. Um, and it's really great because it really has everything. And it'll also show you, like, for example, how well supported something is. So we can go and look at this. Support set is vintage. If we go and look at something that's older, like an iBook G4, obsolete. If we look at something that's newer, you can see it's supported, which means they'll still get like software updates and stuff. There's a history tab. There's a lot of different tabs depending on what you're looking at. You know, if you're looking at, for example, a computer, um, you know, you can um, just sort of like open this up. Yeah, they don't have that anymore. Um, you know, we can you know look at all this stuff we can see this was the version of the force touch trackpad we can see that um all this all this cool stuff I'm pretty sure this is the computer that I'm demoing this on you know, it's got it's gonna show you know when it was released and all that. You can see what it has. So Bluetooth 4.0 instead of 5.0, just just based on like when it came out. You can see all that, and in general, you know, like what sort of stuff. So that is that. Now it will combine, you know, the processor speeds into basically the um, same computer, but. Yeah, you can like open as many things as you want. You know, I just opened all these and we can actually see they're all, you know, they're all right there. So that's Mac Tracker. And I find it's a really useful tool for someone who collects vintage Macs because I'm, you know, I could go here and I just bought a Quicksilver 2002. This was the version that broke the one gigahertz there we go, dual one gigahertz, that's what I ordered. Um, we can see, you know, when it was introduced, what it looks like, what versions of Mac OS it can run, and, you know, that's kind of that. So that's Mac Tracker.